In the beginning, the Holy Ghost Fathers were initially uh, a missionary order that came to the United States. They were in Ohio for a very short amount of time, and they found out that Pittsburgh had a larger German population of immigrants and that there was a need for a school. When they came over to Pittsburgh, they were assigned the parish St. Mary's in Sharpsburg. And then after working here for a few years, they started uh, what was then known as the Pittsburgh uh, Catholic College, which later on became uh, Duquesne University. Father Struve was that first superior who came over to found. He came to Ohio. He started the parish in Sharpsburg. He was the one who began the work here in the school that eventually became Duquesne University. I mean, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. While the bishop was willing to advertise in local parishes that they were going to start a school, he wasn't going to provide any funding. They were on the second floor of a bakery, and the school began there. Then the Irish Spiritans came, and the Irish Spiritans had a different tradition of education, which was much more classical. And that's when the school really took off. When you had the German Spiritans teaching much more practical classes and the Irish Spiritans teaching much more classical education classes. They had been hoping for 500 students, they got 40. But that didn't dissuade them and they continued after that first year of teaching there. Many times the school just was going week by week. Students would pay uh, tuition whenever they could, or they would pay weekly. Many of them were working at the same time as they were going to school. They would always find a way for those students to get here. Uh, often there'd be little notes scribbled in where, you know, family couldn't afford tuition this year. The student's going to cut the grass or remove snow instead, and they waive the tuition or they'll take whatever they can pay and waive the rest for them to do a little work on campus or to help with some project. And so you never see in those early years a student taken away unless they willingly leave. They always find, they always found a way to keep them if they wanted to stay. The education that the Spiritans offered to these young immigrants really did allow them to break through in that glass ceiling, to break through that barrier that prevented many of them from entering into professions and entering into the better paid, but also the decision making here in Pittsburgh. So that one of the most famous stories about you know, Duquesne University is that the students would be constantly distracted from the smell coming up from that bakery as they were trying to work. And, and uh, the priest really needed to look for a new location. And when Duquesne had tried to, Holy, known as Holy Ghost College at the time, decided it had enough students and it wanted to make the jump to university status, nativism and, and anti-Catholic sentiment almost stopped the process. Right at the kind of the crest of the bluff, it was actually the, pretty much the highest point in Pittsburgh at the time, was the uh, hospital that belonged to Albert Walter. His, his heirs after he died were actually, did not want to sell the Catholics, and so the, through the help of another party whose religious affiliation was unknown to the Walt Walters family, purchased the property, and then the Spiritans bought the property off of them, and they constructed Old Main here on the site of the hospital. There is one major area of campus that has historic significance in that the original building was what we call today the administration building, Old Main. And it was built from the bricks that the Spiritans themselves made. What happened was is when they were doing the excavation in the area, they found out there was a lot of clay. And so they realized they could take the clay and form it into bricks, which they did. So really, it is to take that which you are standing on top of, the few resources that you have, and utilizing them to the fullest extent that you can, and using them, again, to build something for the future.